Well, it promises to be a new way to improve your eyesight. It involves no surgery. We're talking about an alternative to readers. And it's just an eye drop. Bloop, bloop, once a day. Jay Tower has tested it out. We showed you that in our last hour. And this morning, the doctor's in. We're talking with Dr. Amanda Salter, an ophthalmologist from Shambaum Eye Specialty in Berkeley. First of all, doctor, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, you saw the story with Jay. He did uh, pretty well. Jay, what do you want to tell the doctor about your success with the eye drops? Yeah, like I said earlier, I, I feel like it is an absolute game changer. The, the only question I really had was, um, at what point do you think maybe the FDA might say you could use it? twice a day because I know there's that long time period it says five six hours I feel like for me it, it's at its peak and you can really go without readers for you know two three solid hours and then after that three hour mark you start you start feeding for the, your, your readers again Gotcha. Yes, I, it's supposed to last for up to six hours, but you know everyone's metabolism is different, and I think that you know your story is not uncommon. They are actually looking at that right now. It is being studied for a twice a day administration. So maybe within the next year or two, we'll see that. So, doctor, as you explain it, you put the drop in, and it causes your pupil to close a little bit, creating just helping with depth of field and helping your lens do its job. Right to simplify it. That's right. So it basically creates sort of like a pinhole camera effect. So it makes the pupil reduced size so that you can see better up close, but not too small so that it's not you know, reducing your distance vision by too much. What are the concerns? What are the side effects? What do people worry about when using these eye drops? So the two most common side effects were headache and red eye. And I do remember, I think, Jay, your eye was pretty red yeah. initially when we put the drop in in the office. But that actually improved pretty quickly. Um, and they do sort of suggest if you, if you give it a seven-day trial, some of those side effects might improve. Um, and then some of the other things to think about, as I just mentioned, when the pupil size is smaller, um, it may cut down on your distance vision, especially in low lighting. So, for example, driving at night might be something to avoid while you're using this drop. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you too, just with, um, I, I think sometimes people, anytime people uh, want to try something, especially something so new, and I know it's FDA approved, but you wonder, you're, you're basically doing, you're putting a drop in your eye that is changing your eye and doing something the way it would do normally on its own. Um, is that safe to do over and over, every day, day after day? Should it be an occasional thing? Should it be an everyday thing? So I think, I mean, it can be both with this medication. And I think we talked about this when you were here. Yeah. This particular medication, it has been reformulated. Um, but this medication has been around for a very long time. It was initially used for glaucoma. Um, so they've reformulated it and changed it for this purpose. But it's a very tried and t tested medication. And so it's definitely safe for daily administration. Um, but, you know, not everyone's going to need it every single day. Some people will choose to use it maybe just socially or for work. And, and so I think I think it's something where people will tailor it and that's where talking to your doctor to see if it's right for you comes in. Yeah. So doctor, if you wear if if you can't see far, would you use these drops with contact lenses to, so you don't have to use bifocals? Or readers? Good question. You you can. So when they looked at this, when they did the study, um, it looked at people with certain uh, refractive errors, meaning you know people who are nearsighted to a certain degree or farsighted to a certain degree, um, and they do work well with contact lenses. It's important to note that when you're wearing your contact lenses, you need to take them out to put the drop in and wait 10 minutes before you put your contact lens back in. Um, mm -hmm. But it can be used with a contact lens. And again, you want to make sure that you're a good candidate for the drop. Talking with your Hi, doctor. All right, very good. Well, we um, appreciate you, Jay. You got any final uh, questions for the doc? Just the age thing. I mean, listen, I'm I, you know, I'm going to be. Uh, what am I going to be? Forty seven or forty eight? I never remember. Uh, but you know, I'm in right in that. I'm right in that area of age where this is kind of this is perfect for what happens when you do get older. Right. What happens when you turn sixty years old? 
Right. So, you know, they, they did not look at this drop for people that are 60 years old because um, you, as we talked about this presbyopia or the, you know, loss of near vision, it is progressive. And so it does get worse. And at a certain point, you also start to develop a cataract as you get older, which is another natural change of your eyes. Um, and so that's something where you got to talk to your doctor, get your eyes examined and find out what is it that's affecting your vision. And then the options may be different at that age group. Doc, why is it no fun to get old? <laughs> That's the real question. <laughs> That's right. Well, yeah, every, every little drop helps, right? Eye drops, uh, all the tricks. That's right. We appreciate. Um, uh, Doctor, you're going to stick around. We'll talk to you next hour. We're going to bring you some of our viewer questions. And um, thank you. Great. And uh, thanks for being so gentle with our patient, <laughs> <Yeah>. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. I think, the medical, I think the medical term she used was big baby. Big baby J. That's right. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh